I always thought, you know, a snowshoe would really make a great cello. A wooden chair back makes a cool guitar body. It turns out that one of my most playable instruments is, is a golf club. I'm seeing that transformative quality in my head all the time. What can I say? I'm attracted to trash. I don't know why. Check out the Jimi Hendrix of shovels. It's a guitar made up of lots of well, junk. He even plays his zipper from Brooklyn, New York. Please welcome Ken Butler. My name is Ken Butler. I'm an artist and musician and known for building my own experimental instruments. Since 1978, I, I think I've made around 400 instruments. This whole thing started for me when I was in my basement in Portland, Oregon, and I saw a rusty old beat up hatchet. Put two strings and two tuning pegs on it, plugged it into my guitar amp, and was quite stunned that it actually sounded like a horrible violin. The Axe violin was the first time that somebody said, that's a cool idea. If I go walking around the neighborhood, everywhere you look, you see such amazing conglomerations of potential sculpture. There's crutches, tennis rackets, parts of furniture. Boom, I'm, I'm right there with that. You know, when I build stringed instruments, really just need three things. The head, the neck, and the body. A spoon has that parameter. A key looks like a guitar. It has, you know, and then there's the little body. This is from a uh, very inexpensive mandolin. Of course, some of the things become crazy Baroque assemblages of multiple, multiple necks. It's ridiculous, but that's how it works. My shovel guitar, I guess it's a small snow shovel. It's just a quirky object and it sounds unbelievably beautiful. The qualities and character that the golf club has is amazing. There's one that's made from a beach paddle that has a, a ukulele neck and a cane. Sometimes people think my intention is humor. It's not. I think it's surprising to people that I can generate genuine emotion and meaning and real music on something as ridiculous as a hockey stick or a tennis racket or a broom or a shovel or a golf club. At the real core of, of what I'm doing, it's to communicate to other people that the things right around them can be magical and transformative and even spiritual. Who knows, if, if I hadn't found that ax, what would have happened? I want to give the scrap of life again, bring in a new purpose. My art is a mix of fantasy and common sense. My name is Kolja Kugler and I'm an artist. And I'm most known for making moving robot sculptures. I stumbled into making robots. I was making sculptures out of scrap metal I found and then I started to move those moving parts with air pressure pistons. It started with a hat, moving the jaw. And before I knew it, I had a robot. I find my scrap metal pretty much everywhere. I, I have got my eyes open all the time. Potentially fantastic eye. I mean, there's every kind of shape you can imagine. When I build a band member, I start obviously with a music making part of fingers, plugging or playing, and then I build the character behind it. The special thing about my robots is that they actually do play the music themselves. My robots play the bass guitar, the drum kit, and they play the flutes. They got an affinity for punk rock. 
The whole band is called the One Lost Machine Band. My robots perform all around the world. Tech events, uh, festivals, university lectures or TED Talks. When people see the robots, it's like they freeze for a while. There's this moment of, oh, what's going on here? And then it's uh, usually the, it's a childish gleam and, and the joy. I like to use scrap metal because there's so much waste in the world. You can't destroy, you can only make it better. My work is a constant game of chance and that's what I really love about it. The bass instrument has the purity and the clarity of the heavenly realm. It's not of the earth in the way that, that a wooden instrument would be. There's so much potential in ice as an acoustic material. My name is Tim Linhart, and I am the founder of Ice Music. Ice Music is the music that we make on this orchestra of ice instruments. The idea first came to me about 21 years ago. I was an ice sculptor for many years. Decided one of my sculptures I'd like to build a giant violin. And I had a friend who was building guitars and he just asked the question, gee, I wonder how that one's gonna sound. And that question has swallowed much of the rest of my life. The instruments are made of white ice, which is a mixture of snow and water. It's filled with uh, snowflakes and air bubbles and all kind of different things going on. To make a single instrument, a violin or a viola here, the ice part takes about five or six days. I can probably build the whole orchestra here in about seven or eight weeks. We have violins, violas, cellos, bass, guitars, mandolins, banjos, drums, and xylophone. Ice music is not just classical music or experimental music. It's a wide variety of different things. This winter we'll put on about 45 concerts. The concert hall has a specific design. It's one giant ice cave. The igloo right now is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. It's definitely an issue in ice music that people's fingers get cold. People play with a variety of different kinds of gloves. Some people play barehanded, but for me, the temperature is, you know, the thing that I really need to make ice music work. So many people just cannot wrap their brain around a piece of ice making a sound or a beautiful sound when they come into the ice concert hall and they're just very, very pleasantly surprised and that releases a real kind of a, a, a high for people. And then, wow, it's, it's amazing. Very often people think it's going to be funny and then they realize it's not really, we really do music. It's not impossible to make music with vegetables. My name is Susanna Gartmeier and then I'm a member of the Vegetable Orchestra. The orchestra exists since 18 years now. The first instrument was the tomato, because you can do sound with tomatoes, but it will be messy, for sure. We go shopping on the market first, we choose all the vegetables there, 
we have three kinds of instruments. One is the ready-made. You can just buy it at the market and play it. It's like the pepper, it's called, no? It's ready already. And then there are the simple instruments, like with one cut or some cuts. You get it like that. Then with the more complex instruments, we have some that work like normal instruments, you know. The pumpkin is uh, the bass drum and the sound of the pumpkin is really important. Good. After shopping, we go to the venue and start to build instruments. All in all, it takes two to three hours to build all the instruments for everybody. And then we start with the sound check. And since we have new instruments each time, we have to have a very long sound check. We have a lot of different musical influences in the orchestra. Since we're really many people, everybody's interested in different things. We make a soup during the building process of the vegetable instruments with the remaining uh, vegetables and we serve it to the audience after the concert. And it's also after hearing and seeing us and smelling the vegetables, which will be intense in there because it's so small, this theater, and then you can also eat it. You never get it out of your head anymore if you're in the orchestra to look vegetables in another way.